Okay, we're back for the final video in the series. In this example, I'm getting away from shape modulation and looking at the deformers, other deformers in the program and how they can be affected uh, with the weight map, proximity weight map. So in this first example, I've got several deformers that are stacked on top of each other and that's pretty central to how I work with uh, weight maps because you can get really cool effects if you combine these on top of one another. Uh, the, the op for the, the map is down here at the bottom so that each one of these can evaluate it and you can get all kinds of cool techniques if you put things on different levels of the stack or you plop this this guy up in the middle of these so you can really tailor your effects by using the power of the stack to drive that so I have a push, a randomize. The randomize is really kind of the magic behind this particular effect. Another push to billow those out a bit. And then I've also got a wave on here. If I hit the playback head and move this guy around, there's a wave sandwiched in between those, those push ops to give you a really kind of, this is kind of gross example here. Uh, but cool nonetheless. And if you put dirt map or ambient occlusion on this and you get those crevices really to stand out, it's, it's a pretty cool effect. Now for the next, the next guy here, you can see I've got a little bit, I've got two push-ops to get that mushrooming, again that mushrooming kind of push going on. But this one is a, an example of what can be done in the render tree. And I'm using one of the presets from the Enhance XSI shader set that we just in the last couple of days have gained access to and they're, and they're really a uh, pretty awesome set of shaders. So to show how this is working in the render tree, I've used the lava preset that they included with the shaders and I've just, the only thing I've done is I've piped some of that into the displacement parameter and, and changed the range a little bit. And then I brought in the, the map lookup scaler to this will pipe the weight map into different parameters of these shaders. And in this case, I'm controlling the, the upper clip on the etched shader. So the result you get is, if I scale this guy up a little bit, is this kind of, it's kind of like a vein shader. <clears throat> and these troughs are, are being increased or brought to the surface by using the weight map. And if I move that back, Uh, you can kind of see the fall off a little better. So when combined with deforming the geometry and then say driving a displacement on top of that, you can get some pretty amazing uh, effects as well. So that's the wrap. I just want to thank La Maison for providing the weight map tools. It's very cool of them to you know, put those out into the community for free and I've gotten a ton of use out of them. So thanks a lot guys. And also the Enhance shaders is a really great addition as well. So uh, I just wanted to put these videos out there on the base because uh, I get a lot of information from there. And, and this is just kind of my, my giving, giving a little bit back to the community here. So thanks for listening. Take care.